Selena Plus Chef is a brand new cooking show on HBO Go in which Selena Gomez, yes, that Selena Gomez, learns how to cook by partnering with a different master chef in each episode. Now, all of this was shot while the US was in quarantine, so it was done remotely, virtually over Zoom, and we caught up with the producer and creator of the show, Aaron Seidman, for a conversation about how they made all of this happen. Check it out. Bear with me. I absolutely love the show. And I'm curious about the philosophy behind it uh, in that when you guys were shooting, there were some episodes where there were fires. Uh, was the whole idea just to leave things be? As in, you know, so many cooking shows try to clean things up and make things look really nice for the audience. Um, and this one seemed to embrace the chaos. Um, yeah, that was really the point. We wanted to do something completely authentic. We didn't hire a team of culinary producers to prepare everything. When Selena has to dice an onion, it's not like it was pre-chopped and, you know, sitting in the refrigerator, you know, measured to the perfect amount. If she's going to have to dice an onion. I had a physical reaction whenever she had to cut something. Yes, we were all <laughs> equally nervous for her every time she had to cut anything or quite frankly, turn on her oven uh, or cook something or put something in a hot pan or use parchment paper. Those were all things that made us consistently nervous. We were, we were really, I would say it's a toss up. My anxiety level between whether she was gonna cut herself or burn herself was roughly equal between the two. All joking aside and to your point, that, that, that really was our approach to producing it was, um, set up an environment where she really has to make the food herself. She's getting expert instruction from a master chef, but she still has to do it. And we're going to watch that play out organically. And that's where the, I think the authenticity of the content really shines through. And Selena's just very real and very down to earth and relentlessly charming uh, and effortlessly charming. And I think that that really comes through as well. I was wondering if you could speak to, I guess, Selena's growth over these two seasons as well, because uh, when I was watching the show, for me, the one big takeaway was this didn't feel uh, like a pandemic gimmick. It felt like something she was really committed to and it felt like something she really wanted to do. And I think that came across. And I was curious as to her confidence over the these last two seasons and then going into season three, you know, what is she like as a chef now? One, one thing that you may or may not know is that Selena had just moved into a new house before we started filming the show. So she not only didn't really know how to cook, she didn't know her own way around her own kitchen. She didn't know how to use her new stove. She didn't know where her appliances really were or how to use them necessarily. Um, she didn't know where a lot of her pots and pans were. So we, re you know, you're really with her on that journey of trying to uh, learn how to cook, but also just adapt. Anyone who's moved into a new place, it takes you a minute to get used to where everything is and, and how to use everything in, in your new kitchen. And so that's part of the charm. You know, that was real too. That's as authentic as every other element in the show. We thought that was interesting. Uh, we liked kind of fumbling around her kitchen with her, so to speak. But you're right, she does, in some ways, she gets a little bit better. You can see her learning things across the episodes, gaining a little bit more confidence. You know, when she really nails a dish, you can see it on her face. Like, she's really proud and happy that she was able to pull it off. But yet, you know, you'll see her in season two struggle with some of the same things, to your point. So she learned some things, other things she learned for a minute and then forgets and has to learn again. I, honestly, that I, that just makes her more relatable. I mean, to, that, like, that's my experience in the kitchen. And so that, I think, is very relatable to the average home chef who's trying to learn. And I think that's part of the secret sauce of the show is that she's so self-effacing and honest transparently about what she doesn't know and what and she's willing to expose those foibles for the audience um and that's really endearing 
the entertainment value and I guess purpose of the show was fulfilled in getting the audience excited and not just to watch Selena, but also to try cooking themselves. But the show also did a lot of good. And I was wondering if you could talk about the impact of that, because I think you guys probably donated close to 300 grand by the end of it to charities uh, all across America. And um, uh, what was the outcome of that and the impact of that? If you could talk to us about that. That was really important to Selena that the show give back. It was really important to the chefs that were coming on to the show. And it was really important to us, us producers. We were fortunate enough to make a television show at a time when a lot of people were struggling, uh, really struggling, struggling more than normal uh, with basics of, of, of having work and, and food and money and a place to live. Um, and so that was really important to, to give back. And the chefs had charities that were near and dear to their hearts. So we were happy to, to showcase those charities. Um, and many of those charities were related to the hungry uh, and to feeding the hungry. And so that was, um, that was really special. And the more we do the show, the more we're giving away. And I think that's a great and wonderful thing. And it's something to be reminded of when, when, when you sit down uh, to eat a meal, it's nice that you can enjoy that meal. It's also nice to remember that not everyone gets to enjoy a meal uh, three times a day or twice a day or sometimes even once a day. Um, and so it's okay to, to point that out and to try to do something to help rectify that and, and to give back a little bit. And we're really proud of that. And I know how important that is to Selena and to all of the chefs that we're lucky enough to work with on the series. It's okay. That was incredible. <laughs> Selena and Chef. That was Aaron Sadman, the creator of Selena Plus Chef. You can watch the first two seasons on HBO Go with a third season in production and coming soon. Fingers crossed. Let us know what you think of the show. Sound off in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our other interviews on YouTube. Like this page, share, tell your friends, tell your family. You know what to do.